This video shows you how to work with recipients, work with groups, assign filters to users, and assign roles to users. Before you can distribute reports to recipients, you have to create and configure users. Fill in the new user information, including email address, username, and password. If you want to change the domain account for this user, flag the checkbox. You can use a Windows domain account to authenticate in nPrinting by inserting the domain, username, and password. Select the time zone and the locale. In the Folder field, you can define the name of the folder where reports for this user will be stored. In this example, we choose Digital Marketing as the folder name. Next, we can add a username as a subfolder. This is where this particular recipient will find their reports. You can add additional user details, such as company name, office location, and department, among others. You can also create a group for which this user to belong. Groups are lists of users. You can put users who receive the same reports into a group. Users can be members of multiple groups. Groups simplify maintenance and help to avoid errors. Reports received by users in the same group are based on common templates the data received by any particular user are based on filters applied to that user. For example, you might want to create two filters, one for the country of Sweden and one for the USA. By doing this, users always see information filtered for the specific country you have selected. Apply the filters that you have created to each user. In the user page, you can also define roles. Roles define what rights are assigned to users. You have to assign one or more roles to each user. For this user, we have assigned permission to publish reports and permission to read reports in the newsstand area. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.